Hey Clay, I like your course, but I'm gonna take a loan to buy it. Is this a good idea? Uh, it depends. So in this week's episode of Clay Trader Mail, a somewhat unique, I'd be lying if I said that I got questions like this all the time, uh, but I understand this person's logic and I applaud their logic because their logic's on the right uh, path in the terms of you know what needs to be done to you know become a successful trader. But as far as the numbers and the practicality and the personal finance side of things, a little bit shaky, but it, it could work out. You know, and given a few different variables, which you know I want to talk about here. So this is just simply coming from a, a, an email that I received uh, at the website. So I'm going to read it, and then we'll kind of break down the different areas of it. Because who knows? Maybe you're thinking the same thing. Hey, Clay, I want to learn. I understand that I need to invest in my education. Just like if I want to do anything in life, you first got to learn how to do it. So yeah, I realize I need to pay some money to learn how to trade. And you know, maybe I want to do it with you. Maybe I want to do it with somebody else. But in order to do this. There's got to be a loan, so let's first get to this, and uh, we'll we'll talk about some different areas. So this person asks, would it be wise, in your opinion, if I took a loan for six thousand dollars from my 401k to buy your program for two thousand dollars, and then after learning, use the other four thousand dollars to start my trading career? I will be honest with you right here. I really, really want to tell this person to just be like, yeah, that that's that's a great idea. To hear that they want to send me two thousand dollars for my program. I mean, two thousand dollars—that's a good chunk of change. And this person just, hey, I should. But I like to be able to sleep at night. I like to be able to uh, build a good, solid brand. And you know, branding 101 don't lead people down the wrong pathway. So, yeah, I told this person, no, 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 that that's definitely not a good idea. You don't want to be doing that. Now, there are some exceptions to this. But if your plan is, hey, I want to take a loan, and again, I, I realize where this person's coming from. They're on the right path. They want to learn. They want to spend money to learn. That's great. And then they also understand that they need capital to trade. But to pull it from her 401k, it is a loan, and that money within the world of personal finance is there for your retirement. It is there for you know a, a longer term, bigger picture for later down in life. But the main thing here is loan. And the reason I told this person no is because they did not map out any sort of game plan to pay back the loan. If you were to say, Clay, look, I'm gonna buy your course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a loan for $2,000 to buy your course, and then while I go through the content, I have already have a plan within my personal budget of how I can pay back the money before any sort of massive interest hits me, then okay, that's fine, because you have a plan in place, and if you could take advantage of it before any, like I said, interest or anything hits you, then that's much different. But this person did not mention anything about how they were gonna repay the loan. So I'm assuming that they think they're gonna repay the loan by, by trading. And as I've talked about many times before, when you have little things like that hanging over your head, in this case, okay, I gotta pay back the loan, I gotta pay back the loan, from a mental perspective, that is just gonna cause you to do stupid things as a trader because you're always gonna have that in the back of your mind. And you don't, trading's already hard enough from a mental game, when you you know you, you you don't have anything like that hanging over your head, but as soon as you start introducing, I got to pay back the loan, I got to pay the mortgage, I got to pay the gas bill, this that and the other, I got to put food on the table, it really does some crazy stuff with your mind. So should you take a loan to buy my course? Should you take a loan to buy somebody else's course? Well, I don't know. Do you have a plan in place? And the quick way to answer that is, do you have a budget? If you're sitting there saying, I don't have a budget, then no, you definitely shouldn't do it because there is no way you have a plan to pay back you know, any sort of loan that you take if you don't even have a budget because that's the, the, the foundation of any sort of financial forecasting and figuring out if you can pay something back over a certain amount of time. So that's a really quick way. Now, if you answer, yeah, I actually do have a budget, then yeah, yeah, maybe it does make sense to take a loan to buy somebody's course, but again, the key is you've gotta be able to pay back that loan before any sort of crazy interest or anything like that hits you. I mean, if you can pay for it on a credit card, but you know that you'll have it paid back by the time you know the next uh, payment cycle or whatever is due, then th that's fine. That's very different than, yeah, I'm gonna you know throw all this stuff on my credit card or I'm gonna take a 401k loan and then it, I, I just gotta pay it back from my trading. Risky, risky territory to be entering into. So as much as it, would be awesome and as much as, again, being honest, I wish I could sit here and say, yeah, grab those loans. Just take any loan you can so you can buy my course. Because yeah, if you take my course, you'll for sure be able to pay back any loan that you take. 
Uh, yeah, that's definitely me playing in a vastly gray area of uh, honesty and let's just keep it black and white. Uh, what this person has told me is not the path uh, that you would wanna go down um, unless, like I said, and I keep beating this dead horse, but for a reason, you gotta have a financial plan to pay back these loans uh, or else it's just gonna play too many mind games with you. So apples and oranges, maybe. It all depends on what your strategy is in regards to your ability uh, to, to pay back the loan in a good amount of time where not all of a sudden you're, you're digging backwards because you have all this interest piling in on you. So be smart about it, but that would be my answer. It depends. If you are out there trading a loan currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.